Hey guys, welcome to me playing some Autonauts. Now this is a much older version, probably like at least a year old. And I know it's on Steam, but that cost $15 and the version I got was free. So yeah, this is the version I'm playing. It's also one I'm familiar with. So first thing I'm going to do is make an axe. Then go ahead and grab... A ton of floors, despite the fact that I know I'm not going to need this many yet. I still like getting an army of floors for some reason. But now let's also grab some. Alright. And let's start chopping down some trees. Because this is Minecraft! Let's go start building. By the way, I'm pretty sure you can actually still get You can't go on Steam. You can pick it up on the internet, so. You guys are more than welcome to play, and it's the exact same map, so. Like every single time. Alright, get that. Workshop. Crude bench saw. Then basic workbench. Alright. I need two logs, four planks, and one stone. There's two ways to get planks. One is using a bench saw, which I can't do yet, because I don't have one. I have to finish building that before it'll let me use it. The other way is to use an axe on logs. Of course, this is only half as efficient. Throw a log in there and you get four. Use an axe on a log and you get two. So let's go ahead and Fill that in there. I'm gonna plant these trees. By the way, I will end up having robots doing all of this pretty soon, so yeah, this isn't gonna be what most of the videos are made up of. But most of them I'm, I'm gonna have like a thousand logs that I'm not using. Right. One. Two. There we go. Pretty sure the only difference is in the map is where these, well, is where things like these, these sticks and stones spawn. Alright, see, so yeah, I can make planks or poles. Alright, for this, I need two logs, four poles, and two stone. Alright, let's go into this undiscovered land. And ta-da! Now throw you in there. Throw you in there. You can only hold one log in your hand at a time. But you can fill up your inventory. Like every single slot with logs, so... That is... Alright, in there for any pools. Throw the log in there. Right. Okay. Now let's go ahead and make another crude bench saw. I know I can change it, but this is just making it so that my robots will be able to do it more efficiently because they cannot change the recipe. Now I think ahead. Alright. One key, and then I need another one for the saw. Three. Most items you can hold four of. There's some that you can only hold one of, and there's some that you can hold two of. Yeah, I just have to walk into an area to discover it, which is pretty easy. <laughs> 
right. But yeah. Maybe I'll end up getting the Steam version later on, but not right now, because I've got a version that works, and I have no need for the Steam version, so I'm not going to waste my money on it. Alright. There we go. Basic workbench. Now, this is going to be used to make a wooden axe. It takes one plank and one pole. So I throw this in here. Grab one pole. Throw it in here. Plank. Do the same thing. And now I have a better axe. Now, if you notice, I'm picking up every single seed I see. And that's because if you leave them on the ground, they'll disappear. So the first robot I have is probably just going to be picking up seeds after me and throwing them in, the, in a storage. Which is why I built this. This is going to be my seed storage. It, they won't disappear from the storage, but they will from the ground. I'm pretty sure seeds are the only things that will do that though. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this one in. Just because. Alright, now I go to no, special, because I'm special, <laughs> and build a worker assembler. Two logs, two planks, and two poles. One, two. One. Two. Three. What I'm planning on doing is getting four robots, all de all dedicated to some to something related to the this tree patch. I'm gonna have one chopping down the trees, one replanting the one digging holes to plant the trees in, one planting trees, and one picking up seeds. All right. Always, piece of advice, always go for the basic work, but it's much more efficient and it hardly costs any more than the crude. Of course, that is only in this version. In the, in the latest version, the one on Steam, I've got no advice because, like I said, I haven't played it. Alright, let's go. Let's see. Let's make another wooden axe. Alright, here we go. Now I need... Uh, let's grab two more logs. Yeah, I need two more. Alright, grab all these seeds. Because I care about this world. And I... It's not fun to run out of seeds, let me tell you. By the way, robots will only move into area. So they won't move into this area until I walk into it first. And they've got a limited range on the area that they will move. So, yeah. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure why I'm telling you all this, because... I, I'm sure if you guys are going to play the game, you're going to get the same version, but who knows, you might get this, this version as well. Alright, there we go. What this does is lets me make gears, and I need a normal gear to make the basic workshop, or worker bot, as you can see in the bottom right corner. Alright, so now, let's chop down... Two more trees to make one bot. One, two. One, two, three, four. Throw all the seeds in here. Alright. Blanks. 
more planks. Grab the log and then get more planks. I actually do like this this game a lot. And despite the fact that you can make robots literally out of planks, poles, and a gear, her is actually a lot more realistic than Minecraft, I'm gonna admit. Of course, that's not really hard to do. <laughs> In Minecraft, you literally have things that will start floating in midair. Alright. So, let's go ahead and place you there. And... Chop down a tree, please drop some seeds. In order to teach robots how to do something, you need to press space, click the robot, click this thing, and then do the thing, do what you want it to do. And normally it will only do it once, unless you use the repeat function right here. Now what I like to do with this kind of bot, is have it repeat this section until its hands are full. Then he'll move to the storage, and then repeat till his hands are empty, he throwing them in, and then repeat the whole, that whole thing forever. So, yep, he's running off to collect the seats. Next spot's probably going to be digging holes. Right? Come on. Yeah, it took you long enough. Yep, he's going to pick up those seats, so I no longer need to worry about that. It usually takes at least a minute for the seeds to go away. Alright, let's go ahead and build the second workbench. And if you guys want me to, I can build another storage right here. And all storages of the same type automatically connect. So I could have, like, five seeds storages all the way up here. And then this one, instead of only being able to hold 100, it could hold 600. And all of them would be connected, so... That's always something to consider. Right? Let's see... Okay, I need to get another stone. Luckily, I can get some through making a pickaxe. Just like in Minecraft. Pickaxe. One pole. One plank. One pickaxe. I usually mine the boulders because I've actually found out something cool with them. If you leave a stone right next to it, it or diagonal from it. Yeah, you can also get metal ore, but yeah. eventually that stone will turn into a metal ore. And metal ore is actually a lot more useful than stone. Alright. You, yeah, you're in charge of making shovels. That is your job. I'm doing workbench. Oh, no, basic workbench. Alright. I need more trees, so let's go ahead and dig ten holes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, save ten seeds left, so that's good. Four. Essentially, this is my hotbar, so what I'm holding in my hand, and then this is the rest of my inventory. Right. So yeah, he's just going to be waiting there till he's got four seeds. And now I have to wait for that to finish, well, for those trees to finish growing, before I can chop them down. Don't have changed yet. Not sure exactly what the speed at which they change is, but pretty sure it's slower than trees growing. And I know they do. I've seen it happen. 
and at least in this version, this game is only solo, so there's no way someone else could have done it. And no, I had programmed a bot to replace stone with metal. Let's just go ahead and turn all these logs into planks. Alright, basic worker bot 2.0, wait is it 2.0? No, just zero, BB002, basic bot number 002, that's his code, I can, well, his name, I can change it later with a name tag. Alright, so, wait, well, I need to hold this shovel, alright, your job is to go around, find tree soil, and dig. Until your hands are empty, meaning your shovel broke, right? Once that happens, go grab a plank, put it in this workbench, then grab a pole, put it in this workbench, then pick up the shovel. Alright, just do that forever. Alright, and then here's how I trade. Need with boss. I can give them items myself. There's your shovel. Now he will essentially he will be eternally digging holes for all his life. You can see the order and relative speed at which I have planted these trees through them growing. <laughs> I think that's honestly pretty cool. I'm sure you guys have noticed that bot is digging, well, is sort of the digger bot. <laughs> I point out uh, with my finger. That thing, he's skipping one every time. I'm not sure why he does that. The bot, everything can go through trees. I can literally walk straight through these, or this. But that's just how they work, so. Who am I to question it? Alright, let's go ahead and start to do that. Alright, in there. Just a lowly YouTuber with only, I think, 12 subscribers? I could be overestimating it a lot. And the majority of you, <laughs> the majority of my subscribers, don't want to say the majority of you. Because majority of my subscribers don't even watch my videos. <laughs> I get like one or two views per video. Right, your sole purpose in life is to grab seeds from that. The reason I'm putting this out is he's already moved there. Until your hands are full. Oh, no. Did not mean to do that. And you gotta drag these out or else it'll delete. Hate it. And then spin the until your hands are empty. Take those, take the tree seeds and put them in the tree seed hole. Need holes until hands empty. Then repeat. So yeah, I've got someone collecting seeds, someone digging holes, and someone planting trees. I'm I'm pretty sure he's gonna plant 20 million trees before er, before 2020. So yeah, this is how to do it. Just get robots to do it on for you automatically. Genius. Yep, he's making himself a new shovel. Let's take some logs. Let's just turn all turn turn three of these four planks. In depots for our, our digger bot. Usually, uh, I'll name robots based on what they do. Not naming any yet because I figured you guys should decide the names. 
So yeah, just comment what you think their name should be. Oh, here's some, something I can show you real quick. You see how this bot has a battery? It means he's out, well, empty battery, he's out of power. All I need to do is walk up to him, well, left click him, and my character will walk up to him and charge him again. I can get a bot to do that, but not yet. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to dedicate this workbench to the creation of axes. And you, little bot, are going to be the one to chop down all the trees that your friends are planting. You'll get me an eternal supply of wood. Alright, so. Train you. Find the nearest tree. Chop it down. Until your hands are empty. Run pause and set this down. I right click to set something down. Alright, and then simply grab a pole. Throw it in here. Then grab a plank, throw it in here. I picked the wrong workbench. Oh, great. Well, did I delete all this now? Alright, there we go. Grab a pole, put it in this workbench. Grab a plank, put it in this one. It actually knows which one you're putting it in. Then grab this axe. No stop. Throw the axe in his hand. I'm just gonna leave that shovel there. Maybe I'll end up having like things that I used very early on. Yeah, I now have an unlimited wood supply in Autonauts. And it's entirely self sufficient. The only thing is, these logs are gonna stack up quickly. And I mean quickly. So let's have a robot to collect logs. Logs. To be honest, I said this is much me more realistic than Minecraft, and and that's not hard to do. I wasn't complaining. I love it how Minecraft is. I just think it's kind of funny some things that you can do. <laughs> Alright, so your job, find a log, oh, oh wait, hold on, I need a log storage, alright, so let's go ahead and throw it in here, not gonna have them just turn them automatically into planks because there's something that need that, for example, these flooring blueprints, alright, PB05. Well, BB005. But once you have found your log, let me go ahead and find a new one, and then delete that. Throw it in here. And repeat that forever. So now he will be finding logs, and then putting them in there. Until this is full. Alright, we got another bot ready to run a battery. That's what this symbol means. They're uh, going to pretty soon. So, let's take some logs and make a robot dedicated solely to charging robots that are dead. Now, I always, always name these guys so that I know which one neat has the highest priority of getting charged for example say a bunch like i leave the game open overnight and all of them are out of power i want to know which one is going to charge them automatically so yeah you player override on the charger on the charge bot's name Unless you guys can come up with one and better. I'm not going to deny that possibility. Wait, where'd the stone go? Oh yeah, sometimes the stone will just decay.
I guess it never turns into Mandalore. I don't know. But still. I like to think that it does. So you will make name badges. All I need for that is one thing. A name badge. Now I simply walk over to the robot I want to name. Space. Click the robot. You can then go to trade. And put it in the robot's upgrades section. And here I can left click and name it. Charge Boss. By the way, there is a character limit. Let's see. We got. 9, 10, okay, 10 character limit, so no names seems larger than 10, or else I'm not going to be able to use them. Okay, so to teach you to go up to the nearest robot who doesn't have battery, move to him, and recharge him. And that is your life, charge your bot. So yeah. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, I need to save it first. Alright, save it as YT. Save. Yes. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, you know what button to hit. If not, again, you know what button to hit. And I will see you guys later. Bye!